Hello everybody and welcome to creating 3D logos. In this tutorial I will fill the gap between Maya and Photoshop to create this logo. First thing I will show you my mold, which I am modeling in Maya. You can use any 3D package like 3D Max, Modo, Lightwave, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm starting with 4 slices and it have a red ball in it. And right now I start to shade this logo with some materials which have a shininess and refraction to represent my logo. Right now I am start to find the camera which I am gonna to render on it. I think in front it will be nice. Okay. In this step also I will show you my light which I'm using. I'm using about six lights and one point right. Okay, let's start right now to rendering. Just to prepare my model for rendering and center it in the camera in the front camera I think it will be nice okay and let's start rendering okay right now I have three images oh, it's rendered with uh, different materials and different shaders and that's my hyper shade which have all materials I'm using and I'm start to render about three images right now start to import it to Photoshop and prepare also these images also there's a great thing which Maya also gives me a mask which I can mask my logos nicely and I'm starting now to prepare every image to get it to Maya and paste it in my space I think that's my main image and that's the second and that's the third about this image I will start to lighten it a little bit and to blend these images together it will give me a great logo okay I think I, I will choose light lighter okay I think just blend it nicely and I'll start to convert it to smart object which I'm if I will resize it it's will not broken or, or pixels okay and the start to resize it okay centered in my space I think that's nice I'll add some text I'm I'm just start to center my text with my logo and I'm use uh, it's secure just a software logo and I'll start now to a little bit resize my logos it will be nice it's just nice right now and I will start to make a little bit shadow which will give me a depth and mask it fill it with gray and start to resize it delete the mask and resize it and put it in the back of my logos and start to play with it a little bit I think gas and blur 
This will be nice. And by changing capacity, I get my logos done. So I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next lesson.